Welcome to practice. Please have two blocks and either a couple yoga blankets or towels folded up neatly that you can use to support your seat in some of the postural work that we'll do today. This is a short and sweet practice to take you home to yourself. Ultimately, practice is about the way in which we attune to our personal chemistry, about our capacity to again and again alchemize tough emotions, spikes in our personal chemistry, of our adrenaline, of our stress levels, and alchemizing those into our quietest listening. Madame de Salzman says in The Fourth Way of Being, I am the custodian of my inner state. And really, all these complex breathwork practices we do, the complicated asana, the beautiful philosophical texts that we can lean into to feed um, our minds and our vision, all of it boils down to this ability and capacity to be the custodian and the magician of our inner state, to cultivate a state of being that is centered around listening and quietude and deep compassion for ourselves and others. It is our ultimate act of altruism to tend to our inner state again and again, because when we are well tended to, then we are softer for those around us, we're less judgmental, we're in less comparison, and we're able to extend our most tender selves to the world around us. And to quote Thich Nhat Hanh, essentially, when one tree in the garden is healthy, all of the trees in the garden are healthy and everyone prospers. And so in this way, while on some level sitting in a meditation seat or doing practice every day can seem like it might be selfish, with a deeper look, really, again, it's such a tremendous act of giving and such an act of altruism. So this is a short practice, one that you can do any day, any time of day. We're going to start right away in our seat. So always elevate your pelvis so that you're on a little bit of a downhill slope. You want to think that water always descends and fire always rises, and the lower body is the home and the housing of our kidneys and our personal waters. So lean forward so that you can lean back with your buttock bones and get your perineum connected to those towels or that blanket, and then sit yourself back up so you have this nice wave in the spine, and then close your eyes and rest your hands on your knees. And for a moment, just drop down with your breathing into the pelvic floor, your feet, your legs, and the mat underneath of us. Dr. Martin Shaw says that we make things holy with our attention. And I've been really playing with this metaphor in my practice of the prayer mat that is beneath me. So you can think now that you have holy feet on sacred ground connected to this prayer mat that is your yoga mat underneath of you that is woven and held together by your personal story, but also the stories of the ancestors that hold you. And out of that connection to the ground below you, allow the spine to lift and rise all the way up through the crown of the head where there is this connection to the universal that is above you. And that prayer is rising from your ground of being up and out of the smoke hole, up and out of the baby soft spot at the crown of the head. And just tune in for a moment to your inner state right now with just gentle awareness and non-judgment and a little curiosity. And begin to make space for what can arise when you are attentive to the present moment and you allow yourself some spaciousness to feel and be, to witness all the fluctuations of your inner state and then to ultimately become the custodian of that state. And then take your arms up in the shape of a V, and you can think that this V is an equilateral triangle of strength and structure and stability, and that it is a chalice where you are really nourished and receiving from the universal above you, knowing that you are not just a sphere unto yourself, but you are part of the greater whole, and the sum is always greater than the parts. And then take your pinky finger and connect it with your thumb, so that the liver side, which is the thumb side uh, of your experience, is connected to the pinky side, which is your heart. And you're really fueling the vision of your heart with your experience and your wisdom. And we're going to begin by just pumping out about 100 Kapalabhati breaths, 
a couple of Bati breaths is when you forcefully snap the abdomen back and exhale out your nose. I want you to do this with a lot of gentleness and tenderness, so try to keep your face very soft and release all the tension. Before we begin, take a nice deep breath in. Open up your mouth and sigh it out. And let's begin. Deep breath in and pump it out. Good. Keep going. Just a little gentle pumping of the navel point back like you are blowing out a birthday candle or a little bunny rabbit sniffing breath out of the nose. Allow yourself to be filled up on the in-breath just by virtue of releasing the contraction in the navel point. Know that as you're pumping out your breath here, you're really connecting again to the universal above you. Kapalabhati breath is called skull shining breath. And in the esoteric dialogue of the yoga tradition, it was an astral cleanse, a psychic cleanse for the astral eye. So just keep pumping out the breath about 20 more seconds, just opening up the windows of your house, getting some fresh breeze moving through this body that you exist in and experience all of life throwing, flowing through. And then pause and take a deep breath in, hook your thumbs over your head, take in three more little sips through your mouth, one more little sniff through your nose, hold your breath completely full, squeeze up from the bottom floor all the way up through the crown of your head, and then exhale, lower your arms down and receive grace. Let the backs of your hands come to your knees. Super nice. And then very gently and softly open up your eyes. And we're going to come right to stand at the top of the mat with one of our blankets or our towels. So coming to stand at the top of the mat, place one blanket up near the top of the mat and then bring your heels onto that mat. Forward fold and measure between your feet, two fists between the arches so that you're really measuring up and fitting yourself. And then fold down over your legs with a generous bend in the knees, up on fingertips, and play shifting the weight forward and back in your feet for a moment. Feel and know that the ball of the foot is the potential that's in front of you, and then know that the heel is the memory in the past so you can feel when you rock back into your heels. It's like digging your heels in, and when you go forward to the ball of the foot, it's like uh, tipping over the edge of a cliff. So make that smaller until you can really stand well uh, between all the planes of the feet. And then take opposite palm to opposite elbow alongside of your ears and make contact between your belly and your thighs. And here, as the weight is shifted forward into the ball of the feet, think that your thigh bones are moving forward into the abdomen and that you're lifting your buttock bones by blossoming open the backs of the knees. And then feel the breath moving effortless. And turn your kneecaps ever so slightly out to the side so there's a real sense of stability in the legs. It's out of our stability that we support our ability and open up our capacity for vision. Nice deep breaths here. Good, now bring your fingertips to the floor and inhale, lengthen your spine forward. And rather it coming from just cranking your neck, I want you to think that you're really lifting from the pubis to the navel, through the sternum and then exhale and fold it back down. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift, peel your belly off of your thighs, exhale and fold it back down. One more time, deep breath in, lengthen your heart forward and exhale, fold it back down. Very good, bend your knees forward, tuck your tailbone underneath of you and wave your spine all the way up to stand. Once you arrive at the top, pause, with your palms facing forward, really integrating the shoulders into the body. Very good, step forward off of that blanket and set the blanket aside for now. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Here, interlace your fingers at the knuckles and then flip your palms up towards the sky and really work the index finger knuckles towards the sky so that you can open the collarbones and then integrate the navel center by pulling your pubic bone gently towards the belly and lengthening your tailbone and stretch it up and receive your breath. Very good. One more big breath, push up. And then release the clasp, exhale, take your arms down to your side. Make a fist in your left hand, take your right arm across and catch your right elbow, uh, pardon me, your left elbow in the palm of your right hand like a ball in a mitt. 
wrap your left armpit towards the center line of the body, and then take this window frame up alongside of your ears. Stand firm in your legs, and now tilt and look up and out this window you've created on your right side body. So you're in a little bit of spinal rotation and a little bit of the side bend to the left. And really take that left eye up to the sky and open up the vision. Super nice, come back over to the midline, stretch up and then take the arms back down by your side and switch sides. Now receive your right elbow in the palm of your left hand. Make a fist in your right hand and wrap your armpits towards your heart. Lift that frame up alongside of your ears, contract the navel point back and now look up and out of that left window. Again, there's a little sense of a spinal rotation as well as a nice side bend through the body. Right eye is looking all the way up to the sky. Super nice. And then come back around to the center and release the hands to the side. Very good. Take your arms up once again and now find the frame opposite palm to opposite elbow. Take that frame right alongside of your ears and then bend your knees and sink your hips. So take your knees back so that your knees are over your ankles and back bend a little bit, lifting up your chest. Keep folding, send your buttock bones back and your chest forward till your belly connects with your thighs. Bring your knees to your armpits and then lift your buttock bones so you're coming back into that hang once again. Very good, bend your knees again, send your buttock bones back, your chest forward. Keep back bending, peel the belly off of the thighs. Push all the way up to stand, send your pubic bone forward and find a little back bend at the top. And then press all the way back up to stand and release your arms at your side once again. Very good, deep breath in. Hook your thumbs over your head now. Pull the thumbs apart and wrap your armpits in towards the midline so you're deepening the cup of the armpit. And then draw your pubic bone into the body towards the navel center and go up and back into a little back bend again. Send the pubis forward so that you're really unfolding from your hip crease. And then take your arms out wide, swan dive, fold down a little bend in your knees right over your legs. Inhale, fingertips to the floor, halfway lift. Now exhale and step your right foot to the back of your mat. Get your left knee right into your armpit and take your fingertips out wide to 10 and two. And then find lots of stability in the lower body. So rather than collapsing into the hips, come up onto the ball of the right foot and then lengthen everything forward from the pubis to the navel to the sternum as you draw that left hip crease back. Take a nice deep breath in. Good, descend the back knee to the floor now, and then start to hinge back. Keep your knee in your armpit, and as you come back, peel the left toes off of the floor, take the palm of your hand to the ball of your left foot, and find a little half, half happy baby. Hinging back, continuing to find that sense of length from pubis to navel to sternum. Cultivating an inner state that is spacious with your breathing. Rather than forcing anything, we're just listening in and gently coaxing the body open. Good, re-bend your left knee now and straighten your right leg nice and powerful. Take your left hand to the inside of your left foot and then spin your left toes open. Take your right palm to the floor and now take your left hand to your knee. Now, rather than jamming the knee away from you, I want you to back bend away from your left knee. So straightening your left arm, curl your chest open and then take your left arm up to the sky with the palm facing the crown of your head. Gently tuck your chin towards your chest so that your chin is right in alignment with your spine and then coil the head back once again and open it up. The correct alignment in the yoga pose is the place where we receive the most currency, where we can move currency through us, receive our breathing, and really change our inner state. Take one more big breath here. And now take your left hand down to the floor, drop to your back knee again, and just sink into the hips a little bit. Again, lengthen pubis, navel, sternum forward. Very good. And then take your hands to the mat and step back, downward facing dog. Take a moment and organize the down dog. Separate your feet hip distance apart, spread the balls of your feet. 
and lift your buttock bones up and back so that there's a nice wave in the lower spine and look slightly forward. Shift forward to a plank pose and then back to the down dog. And about 10 times, just go forward and back with your breath. Really pump the breath, stoke a little fire underneath of yourself. And then hold the downward facing dog. Very nice job. From here, keep your right knee bent and stretch your left leg up to the sky, high as you can. Little variation of a down dog split. Look forward. And then step your left foot back forward to the top of the mat once again. And then travel your right foot forward to meet your left. Measure it between your feet, two fists, and hang over the legs once again. A little sense of the knees coming towards the armpits. Bend your knees into ski jumper pose. Take your fingertips back, reaching back behind you. Lift your chest, bend your knees. Push all the way up to stand. Hook your thumbs, and again, find the back bend. Pubic bone forward, lean up and back. Good, swan dive and fold down once again. Fingertips to the floor, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold down. This time, step your left foot back. Get your right knee all the way into your armpit. Take your fingertips out wide to 10 and two. Lift your buttock bones so they're in line with your shoulder blades. Look forward, lengthen from pubis to navel to sternum. Very good. And then descend the back knee to the floor. Start to hinge back. As you hinge back, palm of the right hand makes contact with the ball of the right foot. Keep the contact of the armpit and the knee and hinge it back in this little half happy baby variation. Deepen it by drawing the right hip crease back and lengthening the whole front of your spine. Take a couple nice big deep breaths here. Just feeling into the little asymmetries in the body. And again, attuning to this commitment to cultivating an inner state that is tender and spacious. Cultivating a state of listening and witnessing. Very good, re-bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, and then spin your right toes open to about two o'clock. Plant your left palm, take your right hand to the inside of the right knee, and then back bend away from the right knee. Open up your gaze, take your right palm up to the sky, and flip your palm towards the crown of the head. Again, gently tuck your chin towards your chest, and then re-expand, uncoil the neck and look out, receive your breathing. One more big breath. Take your right hand back down to the mat and step back, downward facing dog. Good, this time shift forward to the plank pose. Send your heels back and then draw your pubic bone towards the mat into a floating up dog. Open up your collarbones, look forward. And then back to the down dog. Very good, weight your left foot and stretch your right leg up. Bend the left knee, down dog split. Really look forward, lift the right leg higher. And then step the right foot between your hands and step the left foot forward to meet it. Measure between the arches of the feet, two fists. Bend your knees and fold down. This time take a hang. So take your hands behind your heels Cup your heels and the palms of your hands. Really get your knees and your armpits. And then keeping the connection with yourself, lift the buttock bones. And soothe yourself with your own breath. Keep lifting the buttock bones. Allowing now, it's like a sense of turning the crown of the head towards the floor and the perineum up to the sky and allowing the water to drain down. Really soothing the kidneys and the adrenals with your breath. One more big breath here. Take your hands out from behind your heels. Ski jumper pose, bend your knees, lift your chest. And then push all the way up to stand. 
Take the opposite clasp of the thumbs and back bend pubic bone forward. That's it. Lifting up and over something. And then back up to the center line and take your arms by your side. Very good. Working into the shoulders a little bit. Take your right hand and cross your left hip. Take your left hand and cross it over the top. Now from here, take your bottom arm, that's your right arm, extricate it and flip palm out, thumb down. For those of you anatomically minded, this is internal rotation. And now watch your right hand with your gaze, take it up to the sky, spin around to the right, look behind you, and then swing your right hand up your back so that the back of the hand is making contact in your upper middle back. And if this is very difficult for you, please make a fist so it's like there's not a live wire hanging out, but you're really grounded and connected. Now take your left hand, watch it with your gaze, spin around to the left, take the left arm up and over, reach behind your back and find your right forearm in time, your right elbow, and then turn your chest back to the center. Take a nice big breath here. Think that you're still trying to take both of your armpits towards your heart, opening up your ability to receive your breathing. There's such a connection between the nervous system, the breath, and our inner state. So let your yoga work be inner alchemy rather than external performance, really attuning to what it is that you need to do to be soft and tender and spacious. Now take your left hand up to the sky, bend your elbow, and now make fists in both of your hands. So left hand has a fist, right hand has a fist. Firm your legs and then back bend in your upper middle back into your fist. Look up towards the sky. Now keep back bending, but send your buttock bones back so you're sitting in chair pose and really lift your chest so you're pushing your head back into your left hand. Now keep folding, buttock bones back, belly to thighs. When you can't go any farther, lift your seat, keeping this shoulder position. Good, re-bend your knees, lift your chest, push your head back into your hands. Hold the chair pose and then push all the way up to stand and back bend pubis forward. A little quicker now, two more times. Bend your knees, sink your seat into chair. Belly to thighs, lift the buttock bones. Good, re-bend the knees, lift your chest, fight for the back bend, push all the way up to stand. Pubis forward, one more time. Bend the knees, sink the hips, belly to thighs, lift your buttock bones. Bend your knees, sink your hips, lift your chest all the way up. Good, this time pause at the top and now take your left arm up to the sky and cross your right hip. And then slide your right hand down your side body, take it all the way up to the sky, trace it with your gaze and cross your right arm over your left. Very good. Extricate your left hand, flip, thumb down, palm forward. Trace it with your gaze, spin to the left and swing your left hand up your back. Now take your right hand up to the sky, trace it with your gaze, turn right, reach behind your back for your left elbow and then spin your chest back to the center. And again, with just tender listening, notice the difference on this side. Maybe this is a shoulder that is more spacious for you, or maybe it needs a little more of your kindness. Receive your breathing. Take your right arm up to the sky. Bend both elbows. Now make fists so that you're punching the fist towards each other. And same thing, we'll take the first one slow and then two a little more fluid. Back bend, tend your pubis forward, lean back into your right shoulder, and now bend your knees and sink into chair pose. Keep lifting your chest. Now keep sending the buttock bones back, folding at the crease of the hip. And when your belly meets your thighs, lift your buttock bones like you were pouring out the crown of your head. Rebend your knees and peel your chest away from your thighs. Sit in your chair. And now push to stand by driving the pubis forward. Unfold it. Two times nice and fluid now. Bend the knees, sink the hips belly to thighs. As you come down, lift the buttock bones up. Then re-bend the knees, push into the fists, all the way up to stand and back bend. Last time, bend the knees, sink the hips. Good, fold over the legs. 
Bend the knees, lift your chest all the way up to stand. Very good. Pause in the center. Take your right arm up to the sky, cross your hip. Slide your left arm down your body, swing it up and over and cross the hip. Very good. Take opposite palm to opposite elbow and just sway side to side now. A little rocking. And for your nervous system, make the sound zh. It's sort of like a D-H-Z. Really gently as you exhale. Deep breath in. Zh. And one more time, nice and soft. Zh. Very good. Pause at the center and release that. And just feel for a moment, palms forward. Legs strong. Feel the whole of the body and the resonance of breath and sound. Your center and your circumference. Good. Take a deep breath in. Hook the thumbs again. Peel it up and back. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale and halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Stretch your right leg up to the sky, look forward, left leg is bent. Heel to your butt, step your right foot between your hands. Pin your left heel to the mat and come up where you're to. Anchor evenly through both feet. And now deep breath in, straighten your arms up alongside of your ear, straighten your right leg, receive your left elbow in the palm of your right hand, just like we did at the beginning of class, and then re-bend the right knee and rotate open and look out that right window. One more big breath. Undo the clasp, both arms up, and now fold down. Take your hands to the inside of your right leg and walk them out like you were in a uh, downward facing dog in your upper body and a warrior two in your lower body. Stretch it nice and long. That's it. Good, walk your hands back in. Spin onto the ball of the back foot, frame your front leg and step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Pause, bend the knees, sitting bones high. Couple nice big breaths here. Stretch your left leg up, look forward, nice and high. Heel to your butt, step your left foot forward. Pin your back heel down, warrior two, right into it. Evenly weight both of your feet. Straighten your left leg, take your arms up, catch your right elbow with the palm of your left hand and re-bend the left knee and look up and out of that window. So nice, big breath. Both arms up to the sky and then fold down, crawl your hands forward out at a diagonal line from your left foot, send your buttock bones back. Stretch through the side of your waistline. Very good. Walk your hands in, frame your left foot, and step back to downward facing dog. One last vinyasa. Forward Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. And back to downward facing dog. Drop down to both of your knees. Send your butt back, child's pose. Walk both of your hands over to the left, your seat to the right. And then walk both of your hands to the right and your seat to the left. Good, and come back to the middle. One big breath here. And then come to stand on your knees. Face the long edge of your mat. And start by lining the right knee up right under your right hip. Take your left leg out to the side like Parigasana. 
Flip your palms towards the sky, take a deep breath in. Create lots of length by taking your pubic bone towards your navel and now tilt up and over to the left. Good, inhale, center. Now plant your right palm on the floor and don't even think about it, just pick your right knee up. Tuck your foot to your inner thigh. Lower the right knee back to the floor, come back up to the center. Inhale here, go up and over to the left again. Parigasana. Good, inhale back to the midline. Plant the right palm, go right into it. Pick the right foot up, ankle to the inner thigh. Place the right knee back down one more time. Inhale, center, go up and over to the left, Parigasana. Good, inhale up to the midline, plant that right palm, tuck your ankle to your inner thigh. Good, right shin down, come back up to the center. Pull your right knee in and sit back on your heels. Pause for a moment in the middle and just feel the two sides of your body. The opening in the right side of the lungs, your ability to receive breath, your attention on your inner state. Rise to your knees once again for the other side. Organize yourself so your right hip is right over your left, pardon me, left hip is over your left knee and extend your right foot out to the side. Take your palms open wide, take a deep breath in and lean up and over to the right. Good, couple breaths here, just feeling into that side body. Now inhale, come up to the center and exhale, plant the left hand down Pop that left ankle right to your right inner thigh. Good, left knee down, inhale center. Two more times, exhale up and over to the right. Inhale, pop up to the midline. Exhale, left hand down, left ankle to right inner thigh. Left knee down, pull it up. Last time, up and over to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, left hand down, pop the left foot up. Good, left knee down, come back up to stand and pull the right knee in, sit back on your heels. Palms up towards the sky, eyes nine tenths of the way closed or all the way closed, receive your breath. Super nice, very good. Softly open your eyes, very gentle, unaggressive ustrasana, curl your toes under, super casual, take your pubic bone forward and your pubis towards your navel, and then just take your left hand back to your heel, lean back and find it very casually, stretch your right arm up and back, and then just very gently start to open it up, taking your pubis forward, creating some space, maybe the gaze up towards the sky, and if it feels available to you, swim the right hand back and lift your chest. Pubis forward, navel point contracting back, really supported. Two more big breaths here. Very good, gently come up and out of there. Sit back on your heels for just a moment. Just feel the breath. Very nice. Please take your two blocks, place them across the mat on their highest height. Uh, if this is too much, you can always put one under your shoulders and one under your head on the highest height. You can play with it, lots of options. You're gonna extend your legs and allow the blocks to rest just at the inferior angle of the scapula, so just below the shoulder blades. Take your left arm on top of your right, make a fist in your left hand, and then come back into a back bend, crown of the head, top of the fist to the floor. If this is too much, you can always place one block under your head and make it a little gentler, opening up the arms to a T-shape. Both are equally valuable. Five breaths with this cross, and then we'll switch the cross of the arms.
Very good. Staying backwards, just switch the cross, right arm on top. Make a fist in the right hand, punch it to the floor. Five breaths, if you're taking this configuration of the arms. Otherwise, just continuing to hold whatever variation you've chosen. Really study the breath and receive in your upper chest and lungs this nourishment. Very sweetly unravel that. Bend your knees. Take your hands behind your head and support yourself and just roll over to one side. Press yourself up and set the blocks aside. And come to lie on your back. Just a very short Shavasana. Separate your feet nice and wide. Palms up towards the sky. And start to intentionally slow your breath here. Maybe a six count in breath, six count exhale. Allow your belly to expand. Really sensing that on the in breath, you're going deep into your ground of being, deep into what is personal and precious deep into that prayer mat piece of yourself. And when you exhale, there's a real sense of an offering rising from ground of being, from your preciousness out into the ocean we all share. An alchemy of what is personal into poetry. And let the breath become increasingly effortless as your inner state softens. Take a deep breath in, a long sigh. And bend your knees to the floor and pull them into your chest. And widen them towards your armpits and stack your ankles over your knees in a little happy baby. And create some traction, lengthen your tailbone away from you so that you're really, it's like you were trying to put your sacrum on the floor and your feet are truly pointing up towards the sky. That might mean you need to hold on to your calves or your thighs. And then bend your knees once again, heels into your buttocks. Roll over to one side and press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Just sit, if you wish, on a blanket and sukhasana, your heels in one line. Palms on your knees once again, just coming back to where we began, finding this really simple, ornate seat of perineum connected to the earth, crown of the head rising. And if you have time, this is a beautiful time to sit for five to 10 minutes in meditation seat, just watching the phenomenon pass through the screen of the mind and holding yourself with some tenderness. Otherwise, bring your hands to your heart center and bow your chin. And for another moment, just commit to what it is you want to cultivate in your inner state today, knowing that you are the author and the architect and the custodian of that inner state. 
You might choose one word that you can hold in your mind today as a little reminder, a little token to bring you back to this piece of yourself that's always at rest. And to all of your practices and to all of your hearts, I bring my thumbs to my forehead and I bow to each one of you for taking this time to commit to this tender listening and compassion, to cultivating an inner state that serves everyone around you. And thank you so much for practicing with me today.